Hello, Leo. How are you? How are you doing? You're... This is crooked. Okay. Reading for the beginning to mid of July of this current year. Yay. This is for a sun, moon, rising, and Venus. This is going to be a Thunderdome. I'm just going to lay them out differently. Cross watchers, you can vice versa, everything if you need to. Same with the sign I'm reading for, which is Leo. So there you go. Remember, if this doesn't resonate with you, don't worry about it. It's just a card game after. You know, I, okay, well, never mind. I'll explain it another day. Because I was just thinking of something. Well, I don't know. It's just like... Mm. Let's see, Leo. You got the Queen of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces right here on your side. Mind you, this is going to be your deck. This is going to be their deck. This is going to be what happens when you approach each other. I got the Queen of Cups here. Get in touch with your emotions, I feel like. Or you're dealing with a water sign. One of the two. Someone who's very emotional at times, but knows how to control them. Might be dealing with a broken heart right here. Because something didn't work out in order to you begin something brand new. Or maybe something didn't work, but that's enabling them to a brand new beginning. So that could be you, Leo, trying to deal with this. So something might not have worked out and you're heartbroken, but whatever it is you're working on, the start, it doesn't seem to be happening. Uh, could be trying to come out of a bad situation or relationship with someone. Also, it could be Capricorn you're dealing with. But it's like getting away from that. Uh, yeah, because it left you pretty out of balance, it seems like. You might be dealing with a Capricorn who's trying to fix themselves, and it's hard for them. And becoming very, very burdensome, that's hard to deal with. Right? Now, on your person side, let us see. What do they got on their side? Uh, I feel like really insecure about things. Ooh. Just wondering where everyone's gone. They're just like, this person was supposed to be home like hours ago. Where did they go? Like a sense of loneliness? They feel like they're stuck at a crossroads and people just won't let them have some sort of a... Uh... It's like they want to be released, but it's like the people holding them there are put all the stuff that they can reach to so far back they can't get out. It's like people are holding them there. And like they can't get a jump start to start something new with the day. Like, hmm. Some unfairness. Maya came back on them if they were like a control freak, but like, I don't know if it's this person because they're standing here looking back over here just being like, uh, should I do something or should I just stay where I'm at just in case? Okay, so you're getting wish fulfillment, Leo. Like something you wanted come came true. About a lack of closure, something being incomplete. Could deal with family. Let's see. Probably left you feeling like you couldn't make a head-over-heart decision. 
could be dealing with a Libra as well. You might have went, you know, the whole route of, like, the best defense is a good offense. And probably started hitting people in the face with the sticks you were supposed to use to make the fence with in the first place. Just havoc. Um, but it satisfied you, so. How long, I don't know. There was some satisfaction somewhere, but there was satisfaction with the family, too. I mean, this is a family image. And, but now you're waiting for something to happen? Or this is like, um... It's like waiting for some sort of like gaslighting or backstabbing or so. Like, that's, okay, that's kind of weird. I'm gonna draw one more. Okay, there it is. Oh, from that water sign maybe? The person who's your counterpart? Because this is the King of Cups, right? Are you waiting for somebody to come back with some bullshit? That'd be fucked up. Ah, this is starting to go everywhere. Alright, let's see what this person's doing on this side. You could also be being a little bit selfish, Leo. That is possible. Nothing wrong with that, but if you have it in the wrong places, you know. I mean, it could also be like where you feel like you might have done something to yourself, too. And you could come to that realization, but then you just shake it off like, nah. Nah, I'm good. Right? Now this person feels like they stole away with something or got away with something. Either with patience or coming together or something. Or someone just snuck away. Right? King Cups reversed over here as well. <laughs> okay, so they're definitely like... Alright, so he's shown up twice, so it's definitely the same person. So you might be waiting for something from this person, or you might have dealt something with this person. Because now they're all nettled. And now they're acting selfish. Especially when it comes to this coming together process. And they're riding away with their pentacle. Going somewhere else with it. Um, riding away with their cup going somewhere else with it. Um, but they really can't decide where the where they're going. They don't know where they're going. <laughs> they have no idea where they're trying to go to. Mm. Also, the devil card, Capricorn's card. Could be somebody who, um... They might have taken off, not really knowing where they were going to go, but they took off almost because they knew that, like, this was situation was not getting any better. Like, it was actually making them feel worse. Like, definitely a bad connection here. Like, it became way too much for them to handle. It was just, like, they were both projecting their issues onto each other too much, and then for whoever this person was, it was just like, I, I can't do this anymore. It's, it's too much. Like, it hurts. Let's see what happens if you approach each other. Uh, a lot of unfairness. Maybe somebody gave too much to others and you feel like it wasn't fair. Like, you deserved something, too. Like, you deserved some attention. It, like, even though you had right in your pocket, sure, you might have had some things, but you still deserved it. Like, everybody else got something and it makes you feel like you got nothing. Or maybe more was given to this person than it was you. And that's what pisses you off more than anything. I think you bring that up to them, and that's why things didn't really work out the way that, like, it should have. Like, this person was put up on a pedestal, and you're down there with notes, like, trying to show, hey, look what I did, and they're not even listening to you, and then they just go and fuck up the entire statue, and it just crumbles because they didn't listen to you, and it's just, 
that bothers you a lot. Uh, to the point of fatal attraction, Glenn Close kind of scary bothers you a lot, right? Like, just staring at what, like... I don't know. I mean, this could be the Cancer in this, too. Pisces or Scorpio. Like, whatever water sign. But they're looking over here at this person just all... Pissed off a little bit. Well, not a little bit, but I'm trying to, you know, like, make it not sound as bad. But it's just kind of like, it's like... Vendetta. It's like an enemy. See, yeah, it's almost like an enemy in your house. And it's like, this person can feel that this person wants to come against them whack them with the sticks. Now, there could be some justice at play here. Maybe something's weighed out and balanced with the separation. Let's see. What could be the ending of this scenario? Oh, truth comes out. Like, you might express yourself to this other person and be like, look, I don't fucking like you. Um, or maybe you do like them. But there's just something that happened where, you know, maybe you just felt a little bit jealous. You know, and, and you may be able to express that, um, which there's nothing wrong with, really. And you might want to work things out with this person, and things might actually be resurrected and go back to a much better state than they were before. One more. Uh, they might still talk shit, but you know. Just be careful with that, though. But it looks like you do have a kind of a talk with them. Probably to express what you think needs to be worked on. And I think they'll listen. They might talk shit, but they'll probably listen. Yeah, because it's not like they know what else to do in the first place. Like, the ball's kind of in your court, man. So, there you go. Alright. That was your reading. Thanks for watching the video. If you want a personal reading, my email's down below. I don't charge, but I do take tips and donations. Uh, like, share, and subscribe if you would like to. And I will see you guys later. You take it easy. I love your face. Bye-bye.